The owners of a local auto dealership are making some explosive claims about General Motors in a recent lawsuit. The suit says GM has discriminated against them and some customers as well and alleges racist language by at least one executive. Grant Herms is live at Superior Buick in Dearborn and Grant, much of this has to do with those coveted friends and family discounts everyone wants when buying a car. Jason, that's what's at the heart of this loss. And you can see here over my right shoulder, there are a few cars on that lot, and the dealership is claiming that's the fault of GM, which they say essentially shut them off from vehicles after they claim they were illegally discriminated against. Inside the lawsuit, the owners of Superior Buick say they were subject to racist language and racial targeting by executives at GM, despite being top sellers for the last four years. According to the suit, the owners, who are Chaldean American, were questioned last spring by a GM executive about using family discount codes. An executive alleging in one meeting they had been selling vehicles to, quote, too many Arabs with GMS codes. In another instance, alleging a GM executive questioned the relationship of two family members not of the same race, allegedly saying, quote, if I'm white and you're black, that is an automatic reason to question whether you qualify for the discount. Although the dealership owners do say some of their employees were misusing the codes, they also allege GM engaged in racist practices to sell vehicles, requiring customers to provide official documents to prove they were related to a salesperson, which the dealership says customers felt insulted and falsely targeted. General Motors says the dealership fell out of compliance with key parts of their contract, saying... GM has an excellent record for diversity and inclusion, and GM possesses the industry's most comprehensive program for minority dealer development. GM intends to vigorously defend this meritless lawsuit and seek relief. And General Motors doubled down in their statement, saying it was the dealership who violated their contract, saying that the allegations in the lawsuit are, quote, absolutely false. Jason, GM is vowing to file a dismissal of this lawsuit. And money seems uh, secondary to the allegations here, Grant, but uh, how much is the suit asking for? Well, in all, the dealership has 16 claims amounting up to about $100 million. And should this lawsuit be thrown out, GM says they will also be seeking relief. Back to you. Wow. All right. Grant, we'll follow it. Thanks. Mm -hmm.